We're here right now with Evelyn Gould, BCBA. We were just talking about stress and anxiety having to do with play dates, and we went to break, and Evelyn started saying some things to me that were just so powerful. And I said, can we please talk about this on camera? And then we're going to start to address some of the things that you guys have written in. But you were talking about when you feel anxiety, that there's other other things that I, I think sound wonderful at play as well. Well, I was just saying that you know, when I start to feel anxiety or stress, I it's a signal to me that there's a value there somewhere because if there wasn't if it wasn't about something if there wasn't something very important that I really, really value above all else in there somewhere I wouldn't be getting these difficult mm -hmm. thoughts and feelings coming up. And then if I'm able to figure out what the value is at the bottom of it, then it helps me figure out what to do. It's like my finding your compass kind mm -hmm. of thing. So that's what helps me. So, for example, if I start to feel, you know, I started to feel very stressed and anxious the other day, and I, I realized, well, this is this is because I really, it's really important to me to do well in my PhD program or whatever it was. The value was it's really there's certain things underlying that that are very important to me. So I so and then I suddenly was like. Okay, so I know what to do now. <laughs> I, I, I need to do things that move me towards that and not just make the anxiety worse or try and escape the anxiety. I just right. need to be proactive and realize that it's okay for the anxiety to be there. I just have to do X, Y, and Z. That's going to help me right now. I don't know if that makes sense. It makes total sense. Are you kidding me? Because what it does, it's the right question to ask mm -hmm. about, you know, what's the value here? What's the thing that's really important mm -hmm. that's at stake here? Because once you define that, then it's easy to know what the priorities are. Yeah. It, it just gets like crystal clear. The clouds or go if away. You start to get like that, like an icky feeling of like, um, I don't know, just anxiety or feeling bad. Sometimes that, like for me, the other day I had that, and I realized I was in a situation which was asking me to choose to either escape those feelings and do what I'd always done, or look after myself, mm -hmm. which is a value. I want to look after myself, and I want to be a strong person and a compassionate person in these things and I realized mm -hmm. that if I chose to to just do what I'd always done I was just feeding into the, I was moving away from those things right and it just really helped when I realized oh this is what's happening right here I'm getting this icky feeling because I'm moving away from mm. what's really important to me right um, no I think that's and it, although really it clear. Made, meant that I had to make a harder decision because then I had to deal with, you know, the difficulties. Right. Sometimes you have to give things up or you have to make difficult decisions and then you have to deal with how hard that's going to be. But yeah. I felt so much better when yeah, I realized. Yeah, I think it would actually make it easier it'll, to do you know, that. It, it made it easier to deal with it because I knew I'd done the right thing because I was doing yeah. thing by myself and what I valued, if that makes Absolutely, sense. absolutely. I, I think that's brilliant. Uh, it's like, wah, good. Um, asking what's what's the core value here that's yeah. at stake here mm -hmm. when you're feeling that anxiety. Mm -hmm. I exactly. love that. Um, you know, we talk a lot, my husband and I have what we refer to as the manifesto. It's like yeah. what's important. Mm -hmm. And the manifesto changes from mm -hmm. time to time. Yes. And I think anytime things get wonky in our house, it takes us a little while, like we've forgotten or whatever. But the thing that we come to is that there's something in the manifesto that needs mm -hmm. to be adjusted. Mm -hmm. Something has been changed and, and there's something new that's been added or mm -hmm. something that's been taken away that it's, you know, we need to readjust what's in the manifesto. And once we look at it and say, okay, well, here's what's most important to us. Like you said, it might get harder to do what, what it is that we're trying to do, but in a way it gets easier yeah. um, because we go, oh, well, that's why we're doing this. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's why I need to stay up till midnight tonight Exactly. because this is that important. And exactly. when you feel like it's a choice mm -hmm. instead of something that's being pushed on you, right. no, that's exactly why I want to do yeah. this. Once then do there's peace. Once you do something willingly, then it just becomes automatically easier. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I think, first of all, that loss of control that we sometimes feel when we're in a whirlwind of things of, you know, I have nothing, mm -hmm. no control over this is really anxiety producing. Mm -hmm. And then to realize, well, this is what's happening and here's here's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Suddenly, it's not a whirlwind anymore. Mm -hmm. It's very clear. Mm -hmm. That's life changing. I just have to say that right there is life changing. And so that in the moment, instead of me going two weeks spinning out of control in the anxiety to say, what's the thing, the value that's at the core mm -hmm. here? Fabulous.